the over Diamond Head where they belong. Sir, there's a formation off Diamond Head, too. I don't like it, Paul. Down General Quarters, making no drill. Yes, sir. Interesting facts about famous people. John Wayne at Sea Movies. Yes, John Wayne is well known as the tough, uncompromising cowboy, the hero of the Wild West. Those of us who are Wayne fans know all too well he made more than westerns. Today we will take a look at his nautical and naval movies as I'm sure you know, that Wayne loved life at sea and at times living on his beloved boats, such as the Wild Goose. If you enjoy this video, hit the notification button to get my new videos. If you want to check out my many other videos, head over to my channel. The link is in the description. Please take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel as well. I appreciate it. Let's get into it. The Long Voyage Home, 1940 directed by John Ford, the crew of the SS Glen Cairn, composed of lonely men, need to transport explosive ammunition from the United States to London in the beginning of World War II. Along their journey, drunkenness, fights, suspicion, deaths and trouble caused by the German planes fill their lives. Only Ollie Olsen, John Wayne, wants to change his life, moving back home to Stockholm, Sweden. John Wayne was asked by director John Ford to play the part of Ollie Olsen who was Swedish. Wayne wasn't sure if he could pull off a Swedish accent and was worried that the audience would laugh. Ford persuaded him to take the role. You don't make a fool of all. Reap the Wild Wind, 1942, directed by Cecil B. DeMille. Clipper ships taking the shortest route between the Mississippi and the Atlantic often ended up on the shoals of Key West in the 1840s. Salvaging the ship's cargo has become a lucrative business for the two companies, one headed by a feisty young woman, then she falls in love with the captain of a wrecked ship while he recuperates at her home. She travels to Charleston and is charming to the man, most likely to be head of the captain's company, thinking she will... They Were Expendable, 1945, directed by John Ford. In the wake of Pearl Harbor's surprise attack, World War II hero, Lieutenant John Brickley's experimental squadron of agile fast attack patrol torpedo boats is sent to warm and humid Manila to avert a potentially imminent Japanese invasion. As he and his second in command, Lieutenant Rusty Ryan, desperately try to prove the newly founded naval unit's worth, the enemy launches a devastating all-out attack and despite the PT boat flotilla's undeniable success, the considerably outnumbered and outgunned American soldiers are fighting a losing battle. Little by little, the Philippine campaign is doomed to cave in as comrades in arms perish in the sea, is their glory in defeat. Wake of the Red Witch, 1948, directed by Edward Ludwig. Captain Rolls fights Dutch shipping magnate Mayrant Sidney for the woman he loves, Angelique de Say, and a fortune in gold aboard the Red Witch, the first film in which John Wayne wore a toupee. The rubber octopus used in this movie was later stolen by Edward D. Wood Jr.'s crew and used in Bride of the Monster, 1955. They forgot to steal the motor that ran the tentacles though so Belalosi was forced to wrap the tentacles around him while he fought the beast. 
Stock footage was used from Mutiny on the Bounty, 1935, and The Seahawk, 1940. Operation Pacific, 1951, directed by George Wagner. The submarine USS Thunderfish successfully completed a secret mission to rescue a group of orphans on a remote Pacific island. On the way back to Honolulu, they encounter a Japanese aircraft carrier, but the torpedoes they fire explode about halfway to the target, a recurring problem that has plagued the submarine fleet for some time. The Thunderfish's XO, Duke Gifford, runs into his ex-wife and Navy nurse Mary Stewart at the hospital. There's still a spark between them, but the boat is sent out on another mission before anything is resolved. When Gifford's good friend and captain, Pop Perry, is killed, Gifford believes it's his fault. An inquiry clears him, and after he and his men solve the problem of the misfiring torpedoes, they set out to sea. Bearing mark, bearing 188. Range mark, range 12,000. Angle on the bow, 40 starboard, down periscope. As the navigator, what's the... the Sea Chase, 1955, directed by John Farrow. As the Second World War breaks out, German freighter captain Karl Ehrlich is about to leave Sydney, Australia with his vessel, the Ergenstrasse. Ehrlich, an anti-Nazi but proud German, hopes to outrun or outmaneuver the British warship pursuing him. Aboard his vessel is Elsa Keller, a woman Ehrlich has been ordered to return to Germany safely, along with whatever secrets she carries. When Ehrlich's fiercely Nazi chief, Officer Kirchner, commits an atrocity, the British pursuit becomes deadly. Of what we dream. Blood Alley, 1955, directed by William A. Wellman, a merchant marine captain rescued from the Chinese communists by local villagers, is Shanghai into transporting the whole village to Hong Kong on an ancient paddle steamer. Humphrey Bogart visited the set as he began to film The Left Hand of God, 1955. Lauren Bacall later recalled that John Wayne was the first to send flowers after Bogart became ill with cancer in 1956, even though he hardly knew Bogart. In Harm's Way, 1965, directed by Otto Preminger, on patrol the morning of December 7, 1941, while commanding a cruiser, Captain Torrey received word of the attack on Pearl Harbor. His orders are to find the Japanese force and attack it. The film tells the story of three families during the outbreak of World War II. John Wayne was diagnosed with lung cancer in September 1964 shortly after filming ended. He suggested that Kirk Douglas should replace him in The Sons of Katie Elder, 1965, if he did not survive the surgery. The climatic battle with the Japanese fleet was staged mostly with model ships. Kirk Douglas thought the special effects were poor and complained to director Otto Preminger and the studio about it. He offered to restage the scenes at his own expense, 
using the special effects people who worked with him on Paths of Glory, 1957. Pack. Japanese believe retiring toward Jalowitz for reasons. It's a rendezvous. Why aren't they over Diamond Head where they belong? Sir, there's a formation off Diamond Head, too. I don't like it, Paul. Down General Quarters, making no drill. Yes, sir. No, I'm so scared. My bones are clicking. Like dice at a Reno craft day. Decision is a virus that can run through an army and destroy its will to win. No even to survive. Sea Spoilers, 1936, directed by Frank R. Strayer. Bob Randall, temporarily in command of Coast Guard vessel Niobe, expects a promotion and the captaincy of his ship. Instead, he is replaced by Lieutenant Mays, son of the area commander. Mays is afflicted with a fear of the sea, although he has served well in Coast Guard aviation. His father, however, thinks Mays can overcome his fear by taking command of the Niobe. When seal poachers kidnap Bob Randall's girlfriend, Connie, Bob and Mays disagree about the proper means of rescuing her and capturing the seal poachers. When Mays' inexperience and phobia foil their attempts at rescue, Bob comes up with his own plan. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate your likes and subscribers. Hit the notification button to get my new videos. Take a look at my channel and check out my Facebook page. The links are in the description. I am Wrangler. Bye for now. See you again soon. Interesting facts about famous people.